From Disney and Black Rock Studio, the same team that brought us the off-road thrills of Pure in 2008, comes Split Second, a racer that lets you speed through explosive sound stages on a TV show with unlimited resources. Should it be canceled after the first season? Or does it earn a primetime slot? With an exclusive car at stake for today's winning contestant, hold on to your seats because things are about to get even hotter. <laughs> Split Second's main season is made up of 12 episodes, comprised of six events each, including a bonus round and an elite race that determines whether you qualify for the next episode. As you place in each event, you earn credits based on your standing, which automatically unlock new vehicles in elite races, while bonus rounds open up based on the number of opponents you wreck. With enough points, you can skip past a lot of events, but the challenging elite races often require you to unlock faster cars to compete. In addition to racing, Split Second has several extra modes to spice up the action. Familiar elimination rounds are more intense than ever when a flaming bus or crumbling building can knock you back a few places. Detonator events, or a variation on time attack, requiring you to make it through a course as fast as you can, weaving back and forth around all manner of destruction. Special survival courses feature big rigs that dump exploding barrels onto your path, and you're awarded points for every truck that you pass. And finally, Air Strike and Air Revenge challenge you to dodge missiles fired by a helicopter flying over the course. Multiplayer includes split screen for two and online for up to eight players, with modes limited to races, elimination, and survival. Public matchmaking is pretty much automatic. Simply choose a mode and the game will select a random track and link you with players at a similar level. As you advance online, your rank increases from 99 to 1, with your current position displayed prominently on your vehicle. Private matches don't have many options for the host. You can switch AI drivers on or off and choose courses, but you can't limit car ratings, so it's up to your group to pick cars within range of lower level players. Split Second's fictitious lineup of over 20 cars falls loosely into three categories with muscle cars, exotics, and trucks. You're regularly rewarded with new vehicles, but since they get better and better as you progress, you'll likely only use the last five you acquired. Achievements or trophies you get are prominently displayed on your car as decals for others to see online, but there are no options to hide or rearrange their placement. Unfortunately, Split Second falls a bit short when it comes to the number of courses. While there are alternate routes to explore, there are only 11 tracks in all, making the back half of the season feel a bit recycled. Like numerous racing games, Split Second rewards extreme maneuvers like drifting, drafting, and big jumps by filling a power meter. But instead of providing bursts of speed, that power is used to trigger power plays, letting you detonate roadside props to blast opponents and alter the road in front of you. Using one section of your meter, simple power plays like blowing up parked cars and storefronts can wreck other racers outright or create shockwaves that push them out of control. If you fill all three sections of your meter, you can trigger level two power plays, as well as catastrophic route changers that topple towers and derail trains to alter the course in front of you. Each new race is full of exhilarating surprises as you squeeze by flaming vehicles and trigger destruction on a massive scale. With all the props on each course, it's impossible to see it all in one race, and some routes can be changed multiple times as well. After you've learned the course, the thrill wears off, but you can be more strategic. You'll know when to expend smaller power plays, when to save up power for more devastation, and when to time attacks so that you don't wreck yourself. Each car has a characteristic feel with significant differences in handling. Some cars have slippery back ends, others stick tight to the track, and more balanced vehicles excel at controlled drifting. Trucks are tougher to wreck, but they aren't fast or nimble enough to really compete and the trade-off just isn't worth it. At times, it feels odd that there's no nitrous to blast you back into the ranks, but drafting opponents does provide an effective speed boost. With the emphasis on using props ahead of you to wreck opponents, it should come as no surprise that AI drivers regularly outpace you. There's usually someone in front of you giving you plenty of opportunity to blow things up. It's pretty easy to crash computer-controlled opponents, and at times you'll see them make mistakes and crash on their own. Racing against other humans provides more of a challenge since most players can recover from shockwaves, requiring you to surprise them with a direct hit. If you thought things got crazy with blue shells and banana peels, wait till someone drops a building on you. Split 
second won't blow your mind with detailed car models, but its sense of scale as massive structures blow apart, all running fast and without a hitch, certainly will. The lighting is also stunning. The sun glares off the road and the cool lens flare effects look great without blinding you. The TV show concept is limited to optional instant replays and quick preview clips before and after each episode, so it isn't overbearing. The soundtrack is a dramatic techno symphony, at times reminiscent of early burnout games. Music becomes muffled when you go through tunnels and phases out to highlight wrecks while the constant explosions keep your living room rocking. It's a shame that Split Second fails to provide new courses later on, and once you've seen it all, it does lose some of its magic. But while it's fresh, Split Second delivers an exhilarating sense of danger and surprise. It's just simple, explosive fun. <laughs> <laughs>